friends. Welcome back to my kitchen. Welcome if you are new. I'm Cheryl. This is Table Full of Joy and friends. We are doing a pantry dinner tonight. I did not want to go to the store. <laughs> I've been to the store Monday and Tuesday this week. Today is Wednesday. Monday I had to go get a few things because I did not go to the grocery store over the weekend. When I got home Monday night, I was getting things set up for Tuesday morning and realized we were out of coffee. I forgot to buy coffee at the store. That was just horrible. It was the worst. So my husband had instant espresso in the morning. He was okay with that. I don't like it. So I just skipped it. It was rough, but I skipped it. So anyway, I went to the store yesterday and I got coffee and I was like, I am not going to the store today. I'm not doing it. I'm going to go home and I'm going to go through my pantry, my fridge, my freezer, and I'm going to find something for dinner. So I looked through my fridge, freezer, pantry, found a bunch of things that I had I went to my good friend Pinterest to see what I could find. And friends, I found a recipe. This is supposed to be done in a slow cooker. I'm gonna use my Ninja Multi Cooker. You guys have seen me use this lots of times. I love using this during the summertime when it's hot. And I don't wanna heat up my house because this doesn't put off a whole lot of heat in your kitchen. So it doesn't heat up your kitchen, it doesn't heat up your house, but it still cooks a delicious meal and you don't have to stand over a stove to do it. So friends, we are gonna get all of these things together that I found in my pantry, my kitchen, my pantry, my freezer, and my fridge. And we're gonna to put together a delicious dinner. It's gonna be super easy, super quick. I don't have to do any work because it's not super hot, but it's 88 degrees and it's warm. <laughs> I don't wanna stand in here any longer than I have to. So let's get dinner done. Let's get this in the quick cooker or the multi cooker and let's get it done. It says this goes in the slow cooker for about four to six hours. The uh, Ninja cooker tends to cook a little bit quicker than that. I'm not using the slow cooker feature. I'm gonna use a different feature for this. And so I don't know how long it's gonna take actually, but I will, um, I think I'm probably gonna use the bake function on it and we'll see how that does with it. Um, I like playing around with this thing. If you don't have one of these, I'll leave a link in the description box for one on Amazon. They are fantastic. And Amazon has had some great prices on these here recently. So friends, let me show you what we have what we're gonna put in the cook in this multi cooker and what we're gonna have for dinner. So I've got a pack of chicken breasts in my sink. I took it out when I got home from work a couple hours ago, letting it thaw. If it's still a little bit frozen, it's gonna be fine. I can cut it even a little bit better when it's a little frozen. We're gonna cut that into some chunks. I have some potatoes. I got these for a dollar on the clearance section at Fred Meyer. The only thing I see on these potatoes is this one potato right here has that bad spot. I don't care about that. I'll cut that off. It'll be fine. I have some carrots that were left over from the a couple weekends ago. I did some carrots. And so we have a couple of them left over. So we're gonna cut up these. These are gonna go in there. The recipe did call for carrots, so we are using what the recipe said. It calls for a can of cream of chicken soup. I just happened to find this on the Clarence rack at Coder or Fred Meyer for 84 cents a can, which is a pretty good deal for cream of chicken and this recipe calls for that. Um, it needs a can of evaporated milk and I always have this on my pantry. If you don't, you definitely should. Because in a pinch, if you don't have milk, which like I said, we don't drink milk. My husband and I are not milk drinkers. I never have been. My entire life, I've never been a milk drinker. But I always keep this on hand because if I ever wanna make mashed potatoes or I wanna make biscuits and gravy and I don't have milk in the fridge, you can use this in a pinch and it works great. So we've got that. We're gonna do some, the recipe calls for sharp cheddar cheese. I have Colby Jack, that's what I'm gonna use because I'm using what, what I have in my pantry or in my fridge. I pulled out some seasonings. I'm gonna use my Kinder's buttery poultry blend, some dried parsley and some Kinder's wood fired garlic. The recipe also says that you can top it with some green onions or some bacon. I don't have any bacon thawed out and I wasn't gonna thaw bacon out, heat up my house to cook bacon, so it's gonna be fine. It also says you can talk with green onions. I found these green onions on the clearance rack at Kroger. They still look beautiful. I've had them in my fridge for a couple days. They're a little bit big for my taste. <laughs> I don't like them quite this big. So uh, we are going to, so I can get this open. Um, I'm gonna probably just take, the, take a knife, a nice sharp knife, and I'm just gonna dice them up a little bit smaller than that because I don't want them quite that big. And the last ingredient that this takes is cream cheese. I had cream cheese in my fridge, but it was not softened. 
So I stuck this in my mixing bowl, put it in the microwave for about 30 seconds, and it's nice and soft. So friends, let's get our sauce made. We're gonna get our potatoes cut up. We're gonna get our chicken cut up. We're gonna put our sauce on it, and we're gonna walk away. <laughs> it's gonna cook by itself. So let's get this done. Hubby's gonna be home in about an hour, and I wanna have dinner ready when he gets here. So I've got my softened cream cheese. We're gonna go ahead and put our uh, cream of chicken soup in here. This can was on the clearance aisle, like I said, because it got dropped, but the can is still intact. There's nothing wrong with the seal on it, so I'm not worried about it. I managed to get two of those for 84 cents a piece, which I love keeping cream of chicken soup on hand because it is one of those things that you can make all kinds of things with. You can, all kinds of casseroles, and easy things, um, crock pot meals, and all that stuff call for cream of chicken soup. So when I've got a can of cream of chicken soup in my pantry, I feel like I have everything I need to make a delicious meal, <laughs> very easily. I'm excited to try this. This looks like a recipe that I would definitely eat in the fall. It looks very fall-ish, um, but like I said, you can totally do this in the crock pot or like my quick cooker that I'm doing, um, my multi cooker. If you don't want to heat up your house, you pull out your quick, cook, pull out your quick cooker, your Instapot, your multi cooker, um, your slow cooker, any of those countertop cooker appliances. And mine literally lives on my counter during the summertime because I do not want to heat up my house. If it's too hot outside to be outside and barbecue, um, I like to get those out and be able to cook in my house and not have to heat things up because that is the worst. All right, so I want to make sure I have this all the way open before I attempt to open it. All right, let's see if we can get this. So it's going to take this entire can of evaporated milk. We're just going to pour that right in here with our cream cheese and our cream and chicken soup. Friends, this is the reason why I hit the Clarence aisle and the um, like discount meat and all that stuff at Kroger because had I not done that, all of these things are things that I found on the discount rack. And had I not had those things in my refrigerator, in my pantry, in my freezer, I wouldn't be able to put this meal together. So I love having those things so that I have a well-stocked pantry, fridge, freezer, all the things so I can work from that. And it saves you a ton of money, I'm telling you friends. If you can shop your clearance racks, at your grocery stores, you're going to be money ahead because it saves you a ton. Instead of spending, you know, a ton of money on meat, if you can get it when it's on clearance, as long as it's within, you know, the date, you get it put in the freezer in time. Don't bring it home and stick it in your refrigerator and forget about it because that's not going to work either. You want to come home and either use it right away or stash it in your freezer and that it's there ready for you to use whenever you want to. So when I can find great deals on meats and you know veggies and canned and you know shelf stable type items. We had a ice storm here this the beginning of this year in January. We got hit pretty hard with an ice storm and we were pretty much locked down for about 10 days in our house <laughs> and it was not super fun. But because I had a well stocked pantry, fridge, freezer, all the things. Um, my hubby and I, we ate well. We ate very well the entire time. And while everybody else is running to the grocery stores to try to get things and stock up, we're sitting here by a cozy fire and not stressing about anything because we had everything on hand because I did the work. I do the work and I don't, you know, I'm not buying a ton of stuff all the time. I'm buying little bits here and there when I can find them on the clearance rack or discount rack or reduced for quick sale or whatever. 
when I can find those things, I stock up on them when I find them and it just works out perfect. All right, so here's our sauce. All of our things are in here. I'm not gonna worry about the cream cheese not being completely smooth because it's gonna melt. Just gonna set that aside real quick so that we can deal with our potatoes. Let's get our potatoes and our carrots done first. And my husband and I don't mind the peel, so I'm gonna save myself the work and I'm not even gonna peel these, but I am gonna wash them. All right, here's our potatoes. We're just gonna get these cut. I'm not gonna cut them in super small chunks, but I am gonna cut them in decent size pieces and I'm just gonna throw them right in my multi-cooker. Super excited to try this, as I said. If this is a, a good recipe, um, I see this becoming a staple over the fall and into the winter. So this is the one that has the bad spot. We're just gonna take our knife and cut that piece off. And just like that, we have a perfectly good potato. And that's why I said I don't mind buying stuff like that on the um, Clarence veggie rack because you know, I can always just trim off the little bad spot on it and it's perfectly fine. Give a little bit of loving, just a little bit the real thing. You're the good treasure, my missing piece. Good as gold, yeah, that's guaranteed. Give a little bit of loving, just a little bit the real thing. The good treasure, my missing piece. Good as gold, yeah, that's guaranteed. Oh. If you guys are new to my channel, my husband and I uh, just got married um, in April of 2022. We've actually been together for 30, 30 years at that point, but we just got married. We finally got it together and <laughs> we finally got married. And so our whole married life, um, I haven't had a chance just to be a housewife. And so I'm excited about that, just getting to be a homemaker and taking care of our home and cooking for him and, you know, getting ready to, you know, just getting all the things done around here so that he doesn't have to think about those things after, you know, working a long day. So that is exciting to me. Some ladies don't like that, but you know what? My grandmother was a housewife for many, many years and she loved getting to take care of my grandfather. And so I am excited to get to do that now, be able to take care of my husband and that's what's gonna work. For, and it doesn't work for everybody. Not everybody wants to do that, I do. So I'm excited about that and so we're gonna cut these carrots into some decent size, bite size chunks. We don't want them super small. We don't want them super big. We're just gonna to toss those right in there with the potatoes. I love carrots in crock pot dishes. The one thing I'm not crazy about carrots in, I don't know about you guys, tell me in the comments. I am not crazy about carrots and potatoes cooked in a pot roast. That is not my favorite thing. So guys, let me know in the comments. Do you guys like potatoes and carrots cooked in a pot roast or you like them cooked separately? I want them cooked separately. I'm just not a huge fan of them cooked together. I think, I don't know, there's something about the flavor. It does something to the potatoes and something to the carrots and it's just a flavor that I don't enjoy. So we don't tend to cook our potatoes and carrots with our pot roast. My husband will eat it either way, he doesn't care, but I'm the one that does the cooking, so <laughs> we, we do what I like. All right, so there's all of our carrots and our potatoes. I'm gonna move my cutting board over a little bit because I'm gonna move the insert for my multi-cooker down here. You can see we've got our, our potatoes and our carrots in here. I'm gonna grab my chicken. My chicken is still a little bit frozen. 
but it's gonna be fine. It actually cuts a lot better when it is still a little bit frozen. And we're gonna cut it in small pieces so it is still gonna cook fairly quick. And I just wanna clean this up a little bit because if you guys know me, I'm really picky about my meat. <laughs> I'm not a huge fan of the, whatever you wanna call them. I don't know, just the, the parts and pieces and things that end up in the meat. I don't like that. It's not my, not my favorite stuff. So I'm always trimming my chicken. I'm not a fan of tenderloin. I don't like chicken tenderloins because there's a, if you look at the tenderloin, there's a, a white, I don't know if it's like a tendon or something that goes down the middle of it and bit it just grosses me out. I can't eat it. So we don't buy tenderloins. This just speaks fall, doesn't it friends? You see all of this stuff in here. It just says fall, but we're still in summer and it's going to be okay. It's not going to heat up our house. This is going to sit here. It's going to cook all by itself. Well, I get to go do a couple of other projects that I need to get done before hubby gets home. That way when he gets home, we'll be ready just to sit down and eat dinner and spend some time together. So here's another piece. I'm going to cut this off because I just, like I said, I don't like, I don't like eating those things. They're just not my favorite. These little things right here, I'm just, I know, call me weird. I can't help it. It's just the way I was raised. <laughs> I was a very picky kid growing up. All right, so here's all of our chicken, our potatoes, our carrots. I'm gonna clean up my mess right here real quick. So here's our sauce. I'm gonna put my cheese directly in here and toss it around with my chicken, potatoes, and ch chicken, potatoes, and carrots. That's what I was trying to think of. All right, let's get some of this Colby Jack grated up and in here. I'm gonna save a little bit of this Colby Jack for on the top. Just before we serve it, I'll take the lid off. I'll chop my green onions. I'll put a little bit of extra cheese on top along with the green onions. Put the lid back on for about five minutes just to let the cheese melt and dinner will be ready. And you know what, friends? I love stuff like this because it is a one pot and done. This is it right here. I'm gonna wash the couple dishes that I dirtied up putting this dish together, which is minimal. It's my mixing bowl, my cutting board, and a knife. That's about it. So I'm gonna put those things in the sink, get them washed up real quick, and that's all the dishes. And then literally all I have to wash later is the um, insert here and the bowl that we eat out of, and that's it. So I've got my rubber spatula. I'm just gonna give this a quick toss to get that cheese mixed in before we put our sauce on. I'm going to get rid of my whisk. All right, let's go ahead and put our sauce on top. Oh my goodness, friends. I'm happy about the minimal dishes. That makes me super happy. I'm gonna get this all stirred up in this thing. I'm gonna get my cooker turned on and I am gonna go sit in my chair. I'm gonna work on my cookbook. That's what I'm doing right now is I am writing a cookbook based on the recipes that I have shared on my channel over the last year, along with some fun little stories and a few inspirational things in there as well. I'm hoping to have that cookbook ready um, for purchase by uh, Thanksgiving this year. All right, friends, we're gonna put this in our Volte cooker. All right, so we're gonna hit our power. We're gonna go over here to bake right here. We're gonna do it 350 and we're gonna do it for about Let's go 30 minutes and we'll see how it looks in 30 minutes. All right, friends, it's been 30 minutes. My uh, ninja cooker just beeped at me to let me know that 30 minutes was up and it is smelling incredible. But 
I don't think my potatoes are quite cooked, so let's check. It's nice and bubbly. And I'm gonna pull one of these potatoes up. They're almost, they really are super close. So I'm gonna go ahead and put my lid back on. I'm gonna let this go for probably another 20 minutes. So I'm gonna turn it off. I'm gonna turn it back on. We're gonna go back over to bake. Right there. I think I'm gonna turn my temp down to 300. And I'm gonna go 20 minutes at 300. Cause like I said, it's just really the potatoes that aren't quite soft enough. So I think another 20 minutes and they'll be perfect. So we're gonna start it and we're gonna let it go. So instead of four to six hours in a slow cooker, this took about 40 minutes and you just heard it, it just turned off for me. It took about 40 minutes in our Ninja um, multi-cooker. And so this thing is phenomenal, friends. I'm telling you, I use this thing for everything <laughs> and I absolutely love it. I'm gonna put my lid over here. I'll bring you guys in so you can see this. We're gonna go ahead and put the rest of our cheese on top. This is at 300 degrees. So it is molten lava right now. So it's gonna be fine for this to just sit here for a couple of minutes. Um, hubby isn't quite home yet. He should be here soon. Got, we've got all of our cheese on top. We've got our green onions here. And I'm just gonna give these a really rough chop. Like I said, they're a little bit big for my taste. When I do green onions, I like to do them nice and thin. So I'm just gonna chop these. Just so we have the green onion flavor, but we don't have any great big ginormous pieces of green onion to chew on. Just like that. And just like that, friends, that is our creamy, cheesy chicken and potatoes with carrots. I think we need to give it a taste. But I made myself just a little bite here, a little bit of everything, a little bit of our chicken, a little bit of our potatoes and our carrot, a little bit of green onion. There is the perfect bite, friends. This is scalding. I don't want, really don't want to burn my mouth, but I can't wait. This is this smells so good. Mmm. Friends, you need to make this. This is so good. Even though it is warm here tonight, it doesn't matter. This is this is so good. This is a primer for fall. This is definitely gonna go on our fall um, rotation because this is super good. You could do all kinds of things with this. If you don't want the carrots, put broccoli in it. You could put green beans in it, you could put corn. You could put any number of veggies in it that you want to. Whatever you feel like is what you can put in this. And, mm, Everything blends together so well. It's delicious. Oh, friends, make this. Add this to your list. <laughs> this is another one of these, don't heat your house up. Use your counter appliance to cook the meal for you. Go relax and do something outside with your family. Go enjoy the beautiful weather, all the things. Don't stand in the kitchen when it's hot. Use your quick cooker, use your Instapot, use your slow cooker. If you have one of these Ninja multi cookers, use this. Whatever tool it is that you have in the kitchen, use it, let it cook the meal for you. And also friends, don't forget to check out your clearance section at your grocery stores. You can save a ton of money by looking for deals in the refrigerator section, the meat section, the produce section. Um, I don't typically see a lot of freezer stuff, but there's a lot of, you know, like dry stuff, dry pantry things, um, refrigerator things. Uh, meat and produce at most of the grocery stores. So check your clearance section friends when you go Start using those things to stock up your pantry stock up your freezer and your refrigerators 
and have those things ready to go. So friends, when you wanna make a pantry meal, you've got all the things to do it. You've got all kinds of ideas, all kinds of things you can do. So friends, let this sit here. Hubby should be home soon. We're gonna eat dinner. But I wanna thank you guys so much for joining me in my kitchen tonight as we made a delicious pantry meal with what we had on hand. No grocery shopping today. We actually made everything with what we had right here in our house. Didn't have to shop for a thing. We just went through our pantry, fridge and freezer, found everything to make this. So friends, stock your pantry, hit the sales, hit the clearance aisles, check, the, for, check for those things. Keep a well-stocked pantry. And we're gonna talk about that as we continue on through this kind of a series into not heating up your house, but also getting a pantry well stocked and ready for fall. So don't miss out on those videos coming up very soon. And friends, thank you guys so much for joining me in my kitchen. It means so much to me that you guys take time out of your day to come and spend time with me, see what I'm cooking, come hang out with me in my kitchen. I love this community that we've built together. Friends, please continue to share my channel with your friends and family and anybody that you think would enjoy the content that I, that I um, share on here the videos that I share, the recipes that I share, share this channel with people, please. It would mean so much to me if you guys would do that and help me help my channel grow even bigger than it is. And friends, if you have not yet, please hit that subscribe button up there, hit that notification bell. We would love to have you part of our YouTube family and we don't definitely don't want you to miss out on any of our content when we share it. And friends, we will talk to you guys in the comments. Have a great day and God bless.